The invading Russian army has launched a rocket attack on Ukraine's Kharkiv region, Ukrainian telegram channels reported. The strike by the S-300 missile hit a multi-story residential building, causing an explosion in the building and its partial collapse. According to reports, at least four people, including a child, were killed, and a large number of people were injured during the attack on the civilian area. Some people have been trapped under the rubbles. The death toll is expected to rise. Rescuers have been brought to the scene of the attack. Russia has been launching multiple attacks, targeting civilians since the start of the invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Живой, живой один. Ебануться. Kremlin propagandist and military expert Konstantin Sivkov has openly accused the Kremlin elites of plundering Russia. He claims that the regime has taken about $2.5 trillion abroad. He made the scandalous statement on the Russian TV channel Red Line. Sivkov explained the failure of the war against Ukraine by the fact that Putin's elites plundered the army and the entire country. According to various estimates, between $1.5 and $2.5 trillion were taken out of Russia. Think about what that is. To make it clear, that is about 50 annual budgets, not just defense budgets, but military budgets, which include the armed forces, law enforcement agencies and special services. 50 annual budgets. That is what we should understand well, the propagandist said. Sivkov did not name the people responsible for the plundering of Russia. However, he claims that these people are at the very top of the Russian government. It is absolutely clear that the people who took all this out far from all left Russia. They sit in the highest echelon of influence on the government and perhaps even in the government itself. Of course, they are capable of exerting serious influence. This is a very influential force which exerts a very strong influence on the entire course of the special operation and on the Russian economy, the military expert stated. Since Vladimir Putin rose to power in 1999, the quest to restore the might of the Russian state at home and abroad has been a hallmark of his rule. Yet another such hallmark has been rampant looting by the country's leaders. Thus, Russia has figured prominently in recent scholarly discussions about kleptocracies' regimes distinguished by a willingness to prioritize defending their leaders' mechanisms of personal enrichment over other goals of statecraft in a kleptocracy. Then, corruption plays an outsized role in determining policy. Domestic and international scrutiny of kleptocracy is the most serious challenge that Putin's system currently faces. During Putin's first two terms as president, his administration was able to harness kleptocratic structures and tactics to protect Russian power and influence on a global scale. But since Putin's 2012 return to the presidency, maintaining this system amid swelling domestic criticism has necessitated greater levels of repression and the shrinking economy has brought about increasingly visible divisions within the Russian elite. 
Internationally, kleptocracy now portends financial and political isolation. The longer Russia remains in thrall to corruption, the more isolated, poor and authoritarian it is likely to become.